There were times I thought that I was maybe going to fail out of the program or that I didn't deserve to be a pharmacist or that I wasn't smart enough to be a pharmacist. And, you know, here I am 12 years later uh, as a practicing pharmacist. One of my classes in my second year of arts and science where a colleague, a classmate of mine said, uh, hey Jairus, did you know that the pharmacy application is due on Friday? Like, did you get yours in already? And I said, what? No, I'm not, I'm not applying to pharmacy. In fact, I didn't even know that it existed and I really want to make sure I get a job at home in Saskatoon. I decided to then end up applying to it just in case, why not? And then I got in to my surprise. Pharmacists are the most trusted and accessible healthcare professionals. I work in the community setting, but there are so many other opportunities for pharmacists and our role is always evolving, which is what I also love about the profession. So whether you want to be a business owner, work in the hospital or long-term care, be a consultant pharmacist, work with insurance companies or pharmaceutical companies, the possibilities are endless. You know, as, as the, uh, you know, an African and a visible minority, you know, sometimes you feel like you always have to prove yourself. Uh, the expectations can be a little different for you at times, but um, it's not something I would say is, is intentional or right in your face, but, you know, those, those challenges exist, to be honest. Sometimes developing trust with patients took a little bit more time and effort. In some cases, Patients would assume I'm the cashier or the pharmacy assistant and look at me in disbelief when I tell them I'm the pharmacist. But I also know that I have the expertise, skills, and knowledge as any other pharmacist out there. This could be and very well might be the rest of your life. But also, if you do really want pharmacy and you do it and you choose it and you become a pharmacist, you can still change your mind at any time. A couple of my close friends were pharmacists for a few years and then they went on to different disciplines. You don't have to make up your mind now for the rest of your life, but it's really great to choose something and that something should be something that brings you happiness, keeps you healthy and that interests you. Without pharmacy, I can tell you right now, all of the, 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 the care that patients receive, regardless of the uh, healthcare setting, won't be happy. The demand for pharmacy technicians hasn't been higher than it is now. Don't be limited by other people's limited imaginations. Character is power, and people will remember how you treat them. And eventually, it will go a long way and you'll be able to build trust. There's certainly a community of support for people out there. Um, for Indigenous students applying to pharmacy, we've got an Ind Indigenous Pharmacy Professionals of Canada, uh, a new national organization to support you with scholarships, with mentorship, with so many other opportunities too. So many of our pharmacy programs across the country now have a Black Pharmacy Students Association as well, and many other student associations that cater to particular interest areas or particular identities. I probably imagine that if you're even considering pharmacy you're looking to help others and give back to your community and pharmacy is such a perfect opportunity to do just that.